Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot. Uh, this is my Alpha 7 series, episode 10, double digits in the Alpha 7 now. Uh, this is the experimental branch uh, currently running 7.2.0 build 1277. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Last episode, we tricked out the HV. I kind of moved a few things around here. Here, let me get, give you a better view. Jump in my drone here. So what I did is I, I popped the drills off the edge here and moved them out wider. I'm, I'm thinking that might help with um, making the holes a little wider for it and put the, uh, put the turret on there. Um, so I think today what we want to do... Oh, I'm missing a block in the middle there. I'm, what should I put in there? Maybe a headlight? Hmm? What do you think? A headlight? Do I got one here? Let's take a look. I think we do. Let's take a look at the blocks here. Uh, okay. And yes, I got a couple. So today what I'm thinking of doing is I want to go check out a bunch of POIs uh, and take all their stuff from them because that's that's the way I am you know I just I'm just selfish and I want their stuff too so let's do that I also have been working I almost have this one done the delicious green eating Akua so I need to collect one more texture plant protein and then that'll that'll finish that off. So if I see one of those, I'm going to stop and jump out. Now, thank God I have my hover box here, the design that I use so that I can stand in it and still do stuff with my drone because I tell you, the, the, the spawns right now, they're ridiculous. It's like those aggressive freaking raptors everywhere. Like you can't jump down out of my I can't jump out of my HV without having one or two just on them right on me right now it's crazy anyway so I might have to mow a bunch of those down to get I don't know if they're if it'll slow their spawn down I don't know it'll probably just make it worse anyway I do need the meat so let's let's uh, put this back as I ramble on I don't need it don't need it need this one okay that's probably a lot too central I, uh, what I should have done is put some angle ones in whatever okay I think we got enough to go here we got a bunch of fuel a bunch of ammo I made three cores because I plan on coring it oh you know what I should do I wonder if I can make a tier 2 multi because I did spec into it let's see if we have the gear to do that and and oh you can't make it with the large constructor <sighs> okay okay well I'll just uh, I'm gonna make a couple more packs though for my uh, multi-tool just to get us up into the more than 10. I want more than 10. So 16, that'll be good. Uh, should we take this fuel with us? No, we should be fine. So let's grab just a smidge of food. I'm, I'm planning on actually looting some food, so we just want to grab like one, two, three, and like, oops, eat one right now. Okay, how's base power doing? 15 hours. Okay, we're, we're good. Let's go. Let's just go. No more dawdling. We're going to check out some POIs. Maybe shoot some stuff with a gun in my hand. So, let's go through our power up ritual. We'll go like this. And, woof. I'm just going to do the fill all because I don't have any biofuel on me, so I don't really care. And I've got the T2 drill anyway, so. And drills off this thing, so. Yeah, it's all kind of a moot point at this point. And I do want to add my 
bullets, so that gives us almost seven, or uh, almost 5k and whatever I have loaded in there. It must be pretty close then. Okay, so let's check out the map. I uncovered a bunch of stuff. There's an abandoned mine. We don't want to go do that yet. I want some e quick easy. That's not quick easy. That's a that's a shooty. That's a shooty one. Uh, civil hub, yeah. Civil hub will be a easy one. Village. Mm. So the village. Let's go check out the village first. That could be some quick, easy loot. Looks like it's going to be really cold up there. So let's let's make sure we have our Evo with us. We do. Um, negative eight to forty-seven. So we'll see. We'll see how. Because I, I don't want to go in there with. Wait, can I? I do have a armor locker on this, right? 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 I put one in, right? Box equipment armor locker. Yep. Okay. Just double checking. Oh, while I'm in there, let's go into one of these fridges and uh, put the little bit of salami that I got in there. And let's go check out the village. So village, a village usually only has a, a little bit of stuff, and I I usually don't even bother with the core and. And uh, that scared me for a sec. The red lady, I'm such a fraidy cat. Uh, I, I usually don't bother with um, multi-tooling down villages because I, I don't know. I just there's not much. It's not really worth it, in my opinion. Unless you're really desperate, I guess. Sometimes they'll have a lot of grow plots. I guess that might be worth it. So, what are we at? Uh, negative 8, negative 9. Yeah, so we're going to have to put our Evo on. Okay. Oh, not right now. Negative 8. It's holding true at negative 8. Is it getting colder? Ne yeah, it is. Okay, so let's, let's go to the front door here. Oops. So I gotta pop those spawners real quick. Uh, what are we at? Negative nine. Damn! I have to put my evil boost on. I think. I think I. I think I will. So let's go into my armor locker, <clears throat> and we'll do that. So now we're fine, but we have almost no armor now. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's jump out. Uh, put our light on. Like this now. Now the oh, come on, jetpack. Now I gotta come on, get out. I'm gonna take these out real quick. That's okay. I can deal with these guys because they will get stuck right there, and. I will kill them like a fraidy cat I am. Oh yeah, beat the shots in the head. Just take it. Just just take it, buddy. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill you. And you know, I need the ooh. Really big XP. I just that. Huge. Okay. So let's pop that. We're gonna pop that right now. Before more spawn. Where the hell is that? It's right there. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, let's get the meat. We'll put it in the fridge. Oh, oh did these guys not drop meat? Maybe they just drop bits. Did they just drop bits? Yeah, I think they just drop bits. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll take these guys' bits. I don't need any more bits than that. 
just throw those in the, I don't know, cargo box because they perish. Okay. Uh, let's go take out the other spawner, wherever that might be. It's probably over on this side. There's one there. So let's do that real quick here. Okay. Now that might have been just one of their spawners, so I got to be careful. Let's get up here and we'll take a look. Whoa! Oh. And yeah, hurt myself. That's brilliant. I'm just brilliant. I'm so good at jumping. Okay, I need to find the spawners. Okay, that's that guy's spawner. Where's the... That's that guy's spawner either. Okay, so maybe I took out the bad guy spawner. So there are grow plots here. Hmm. There's quite a few. Are they steel? They look like steel ones too. You can put steel ones in CVs. Um. Oh, so that sounded bad. So, who is that? Who is that? got here we've got we've got a spawner of those bad guys somewhere then so we got to find it let's jump up here and, oh must be from around there oh 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 was that it right there no no that guy's trained on me oh maybe that's it right there Hoping that's it. Yeah, these guys are not going to be easy to hit. And bullets. I got 900. I mean. Spin in a circle there. Thank you. Okay, where are you going? It's not really shooting fish in a barrel, because there's... Uh, they're all pissed at me now. Can I break their... Can I break their... Oh. <laughs> and... They literally are trained on me. When you, they look like they're in a little train. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, level 13. Nice. And you need some pew. I think once I kill these ones, I won't have any more baddies. And so there's one more down there somewhere, right? 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 Pretty sure there was. Oh, is that him there? Yeah, that's him right there. Just got the skin. And... Come on. There we go. Okay, I don't need their bits. And I think... I think I popped their... Their, um... <clears throat> spawner. That was right there. So... Let's take a look down here. I don't see any more spawners. Okay. I think we can uh, loot at will now. So let's do that. And so, oh, there we go. Okay. So what's in here? Some gold. Nice. A generator. Okay. And a HV thruster. Really? Really? Wow, that's kind of suckage, other than the gold. Okay, do they got anything else? Because that, that was kind of disappointing for all that uh, bullets. <laughs> like, really? <clears throat> okay, so... What do we got here? Do we got another container somewhere? Like, that's it? One rare container? That's got to be... Oh, there we go. So this is a... Oh, see, now this one, which is just a regular con 
container, in my opinion, is, is much better. Neo, uh, Cobalt, which I really need right now. A whole bunch of Promethean pellets like that. What a score. Wow. Okay, I'm happy about that. That, that was worth it. That container made it worth it. And I guess with the other gold ingots, so, you know, the whole... Okay, so there we go. That was worth it. There was, uh... The ingots alone would... I could... Was enough to, uh... More than enough to pay for the... Bullets that I ex expanded. So, thanks, guys. <clears throat> um, okay, so let's take a look at where we should go next. So that was the village. Now... It's over here. I never actually saw the drone base is there for sure because I actually I actually saw it. So civil hub. So that and the f oh farm. We could get some grow plots off there. So yeah, let's let's if we if we head to the station that should bypass the comp center because I don't want to get shot up by the comp center oh and that's five and a half so that means that they are they are across a boundary line which must be fairly close to here somewhere yeah I don't see the boundary line Anyway, so I want to not face the direction that the marker is saying. Go the opposite direction. So, like, there. <laughs> uh, yeah, the boundary right now, because it can't calculate through the closest route through the boundary because that's technically not the closest route and from the computer standpoint so here we go there's the boundary so now once I cross this boundary the, there we go see it updated and go over this way so you can see what I mean by it was facing directly opposite of the if it's if it's more than five kilometers don't go that direction go the opposite direction and uh, you'll have a happier time. Ooh, I really like this rock field, so I gotta remember this. See, lots of fiber and lots of aloe and rocks. Those are all, you know, bandages, rocks for all the cobalt. Yeah, look at this, look at all this rocks. Wow, I gotta come back here. I'll come back here off camera and like smash all these rocks and take all the cobalt. Today we're, we're on a POI hunt mission. So, now there was a couple of them that I wanna do that were close by. So let's check out the map here real quick. So, let's go down to the civil hub. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. We can, uh, we don't need that. No, come on, no. There we go, I don't, no, come on, come on. There we go, remove that, there, thank you. Uh, so let's just go south. And this should take us to it. Now, the civil hub should be just a civilian POI, so there shouldn't be any turrets on it. Um, if there is, then we're screwed. Because we have no way of dealing with that. I don't think there is. See, it's a white, white lettering. Let's flip to my guns anyway, because I'm not really sure if there's any drones here. I think I ended up shooting them down last time when I went by, because they came after me. Okay, so... Okay, I'm familiar with this one. I'm familiar with this one. Um, good, this one's actually gonna gonna yield some good loot out of it, I bet. So let's let's go in here. Can we get under here now? Okay. Um, well, I guess if I drop down a bit, but you know what? I'm just gonna 
just gonna bully my way over and come here. have to worry about the temperature so I think I'm gonna remove my Evo boost so let's go into my equipment locker and just pop that out for now I'll just leave it in the locker uh, this stuff I actually want to move into my cargo box okay so this place I will core because I want to pop some blocks some full blocks and the only way to guarantee that is by coring it and switching it to private <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to be doing after we loot it because there are a bunch of blocks I want to steal out of here I want to steal the, the the T1 large generators I think there's an advanced constructor in here if I remember right let's take a look um, yes advanced constructor so I want to steal this advanced constructor uh, this this repair station it's just full of awesome blocks so let's go ahead and just start looting this really quick here I'll turn my light on for you guys oh it's kind of still really dim sorry I, maybe maybe we can get lucky and we'll get some uh, night vision goggles here I'm um, hoping to get some better armor maybe some medium no, but no, at least some medium Nice. We're getting we're getting some good stuff here. We're getting uh, we're getting decent stuff here. Okay. So and then there's a couple over here. And, okay. And again. Okay. So we're just gonna run through and loot really quick. I'll just drop this into my. my my inventory into the cargo box this will be our loot all the cargo we'll uh, we'll see what it looks like uh, I'll put all the parts maybe in hmm that doesn't look safe going up through there but so let's go up through here I want to get all the cargo boxes first Oh, there we go, a heavy weapons kit that can, uh, we can make uh, um, rocket launchers, uh, mini guns, um, I, I think plasma cannons. Oh, and another, and a laser upgrade, okay, so I'd like a rifle and pistol upgrade, really, is what I, what I really want. Oh, a restroom, nice. These, this is some good stuff. This is some really. Oh, there we go. We got a pistol upgrade. We got a rifle upgrade. Shot a couple shotgun. Wow. Okay, so this is like super awesome. I was hoping to find some weapons kits. That's huge, huge, huge. Now I'm going to be able to make a pistol, a um, a pulse rifle. Oh, yes. Okay, so. Uh, let's empty that out. Oh, we can go in here first and take a look here. Come on, armor. Ah, really? Wow. That typically sucked. There's nothing in these ever. They're just actual lockers. Okay, so let's, uh, let's drop this loot off and we'll go get all the perishables out of the, uh, the rest of this place. So we'll dump all this into the cargo boxes. Oops, that was actually all I had before. And fill up this cargo box. Yep. Oh, no, I'm filling up my inventory, so that's And what? Drones are in the okay, well you know what? I'm gonna let my base deal with them. Right now I just um We're out here looting. We're out here looting. Uh, the, the problem with it, though, is when I get back within range, so what's going to happen is they're going to fly right up to my base and just sit there parked in front of my, uh, like, they're going to park themselves, like, right above my core, 
and then or right above right in front of my turret and then as soon as uh as soon as i get within range my turret and the drones will activate i don't know if that's like a bug but it just it's kind of annoying because then all of a sudden my turrets start shooting and they're they're like within shooting range and start hurting my turret right so it's it, it is kind of annoying really uh okay let's keep getting all this stuff so that was some perishables. I think there's another place over here. We'll get these two. So there's three like apartments in here, kind of, I guess you can classify them. And uh, oxygen, meh. And okay, some more food. I expected we'll get some stuff out of here. That's all good stuff. It's all good. It's all good. And then uh, this guy over here. Last of the perishables, and so we'll grab it and grab the medicine in here. Nice. Okay, so let's organize this into proper stacks here. Okay. Okay. Good. And we can actually eat some of this right now. We can actually do the dino stew. Boom. Okay. Uh, let's put these perishables back into the fridge really quick here. And we can cargo box the other stuff, so we'll cargo box that. And oh, yeah, that's full, right? Okay, uh, so this cargo box, that, that, that. We did add a bunch of bandages and small bed kits, but. We won't worry about counting those right now as any decent loot. Um, and we'll put the stuff in the fridge. So, all this cooked food can go in the fridge. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you can see that I, what I was saying about uh, probably going to find food. Okay, so now there's probably a bunch more perishables in these too. There'll be some bins in here. And I think we want to just grab it all. So let's do that. Oh, nice. That's awesome. That's that's actually pretty good loot, the uh, nutrient solutions. Uh, water is always good, too. Um, I mean, hell, everything at this stage, everything is good. Oh, pumpkins and some food. Nice. Okay. And not enough pumpkins to actually make a sprout out of it, but um, you never know. Maybe we'll find some more. All this stuff is good. All of it's good. Okay, what's back here? This is like a locker or something, right? Yeah. So, uh, unfortunate. Nothing in it. Besides just a, a, a boost. Okay, so that's it for this place. We got this, right? Yeah. Okay. And we'll dump that into the cargo so we go into here and we just put this that, that. Uh, we'll put this stuff on me and that can just carry that for now pumpkins we put in the fridge actually here we'll put that in there too one less inventory slot on me and I'm, since I'm full of food I don't need it okay so let's go in here I don't think there's absolutely anything in here I think this is just to multi-tool and pop all this stuff eh, for resources really is, is I'm guessing what the whole purpose of this building is because there is nothing. And, come on, get out of my way, buddy. Uh, yeah, see, it's just nothing. It's just a whole bunch of deco. Um, okay, and then... Now that has no perishables to it. Okay, so I think right now what we're going to do is we're going to go smash the core. That might trigger a troop transport, but usually doesn't. So, oh, actually, let's go check out this last O2. Make sure I haven't missed anything in here. I can't remember. I don't think there is. Yeah, they just got some deco in here. Oh, they got an armor locker, though. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, so let's go let's go smash the core and place our own. 
Uh, and then the base of track drones come here. My HV should be able to take them out with its turret, so we can. Um, where is the drone base? That direction. I could. I can go. If it triggers, I'll go move my HV. So. Let's go take care of this. I already know where the core is. It's down at the bottom of this elevator shaft. I've done this. I've done this POI a few times now. And good enough. Let's pop this out. Come on. There we go. And okay, so we can either place the core right there, which it doesn't really matter. Uh, although I do, I want any of this deco. There's so much deco in this this uh, place that I don't really. Um, and I'm not going to worry too much about all the electronics at this point. So let's let's just go into here. And so these down here, I want the I want these. Um, so you know what? Let's pop a core into. Just one of these blocks here. And. Oh, okay. Put it over here in the corner. Okay. And so let's make sure we get the power out of this. So let's. Um, what is it? If we do. Will it give me big ones? Six, eight, four. No, it just gives me small ones. Okay. Uh, okay. So we take the fuel out, and then we could probably take the oxygen too. Let's see what it's got. And so that's the great thing about putting your own core in, is you can just manage everything through the control panel at this point. So I am going to take all that. That's like five bottles or something. Or was that 28? Oh, okay, well, I wasn't sure. Uh, and now I'm actually going to start just... I'm going to switch the this to private. Oh, okay, it's private anyway. So here I go. I'm going to just start popping these blocks out that I want. I want these generators. Okay, come on. Thank you. And so I want to disassemble returns and tack blocks for own structures. That's what I want. So let's... Grab that large generator T1. Uh, do I really? Okay, let's grab some of these rails. That's fine. I can. I can use some rails. Up, stop, up, up on the uh, roof. It's probably a good idea to put some railing up there. Um, do I want some deco? Sure, I'll take some of these right now. Uh, what I really need. Okay, so you know what? Let's take these these big T2 fuel tanks and oh we're gonna overheat come on come on come on there we go uh, okay I don't really need that one that's a pretty minor one I don't, I don't need it but these that's epic that's awesome and yeah some T T2 Fuel tanks. Okay, so I want the advanced constructor and I want the repair bay as blocks. So the shutter door, actually nice, I'll take that. I want the repair station. So I can't make one yet. And the advanced constructor. And, you know, we'll take some of these cargo boxes. Uh, no, we'll just take all the cargo boxes here. Really. Okay. So railing. Uh, so the... Right, the repair bay. Let's go take that. We'll take uh, one, one of these. We'll take that. That's a deco. Uh, we'll get the... Might as well take a door. Take the toilet. That's deco. 
the O2 station. Why not? Let's take another door. Um, repair bay. That's awesome. Okay, and so now I could switch to just taking parts, really, and going for the parts, I think. I'm going to lose a bunch doing that, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct. Now, I don't really necessarily need the XP. If I wanted the XP, I could actually go into, um, I could, I could like, switch this here I'll show you I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put it on public and then uh, I have it on deconstruct so right now see I only got experience I got it oh uh, yeah that's all I got was experience there's not enough return at 30 percent uh, but off those there was there was at 30 percent I could still get a steel plate you can see I get really decent XP oops and so I mean, this is a way to level if you if you're not worried about the uh, the returns. Uh, if you just want the XP, this uh, you can level off doing this. See that I'm getting lots of XP. So, but I'm also getting some material. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, well, you know what, guys, I think. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call the video here and I'm going to multi-tool the shit out of this thing. All right. Sorry. Uh, ex pardon me. I didn't mean to say that. Multi-tool the crap out of this thing. And then uh, I'll head back to base and install the goodies that I found. So the advanced constructor. Um, nice. The, uh, the repair bay. I'll install that too. Why not? The, the repair station, absolutely. The, those generators, I'll put one in my generator room, put these, these uh, fuel tanks in there. And we'll be, we'll be rocking it back at the base once I do this. We've got some more cargo boxes to put in. Um, so yeah, but I'm going to multi-tool this down a bit more and get some more stuff out of it. And if you guys like the episode, like and subscribe. Next episode, we will probably... I'll probably be have enough gear to maybe build an, an SV. I was already starting to con construct a bunch of the blocks, so I think I think next episode we'll build an SV. Hmm? How does that sound? We'll build an SV. I think it's a I think it's a good idea. Well, guys, until then, you guys have an awesome day.